approximately one mile away from the best example of God's creation of a stationary topographical plane. Right. Let's get some light in here. Oh. Whoa, what's with the spray paint, man? Uh, what's with your outfit, man? Looking out 62 miles across Lake Michigan to Chicago. You see everything, don't you? <laughs> well, you know, not everything. <laughs> I do what I can. <laughs> when you come to the outer space fairy tale religion, a rocket cannot push off of nothing. It was my idea, mine. Didn't anybody hear me? I heard you. Me too. But it sounded better coming from Marsha. <laughs> Even if you say there's something inside this mystical, mysterious rocket that can cause something to happen, it still has to push off of outer space, the vacuum of outer space. Why do you keep watching? I don't know. I'm obsessed with it. It's like a spider in the toilet struggling for survival. And even though you know he's not going to make it, you, you kind of root for him for a second. Then you flush. We've been sold the big lie of outer space travel. Oh, no, bro. Why? You have to ask those people that brought us this huge lie. The world is so full of injustices, and worrying about them can cause a lot of stress. Uh, huh? What? But outer space travel in the vacuum of outer space where you cannot push off of anything is a violation of Newton's third law of motion. Therefore, it cannot happen. Nice hypothesis you have there. It would be a shame if somebody tested it. It can't happen here on Earth, and it certainly can't happen in the fairy tale of the outer space religion. If that bothers you, I don't care. I can't help you. Do dogs chase cats? <laughs> Newton's third law of motion says you have to have some sort of medium pushing against the action going forward. What? I want you to go down to the corner store and buy yourself a clue. It can not happen. It is a huge lie. People would rather believe a big lie than a little lie. <laughs> How ironic. And they've been told the big lie about outer space travel and about pushing off of nothing for so long now people have come to believe that it's possible. All right, brain. You don't like me and I don't like you. But let's just do this and I can get back to killing you with beer. It's a deal. You don't live on a spinning, watery, curvy, bendy ball in the vacuum of outer space. You do not. The truth has been right in front of me all these years. Oh, Dale, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I ask myself why I even bother. Whether you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, or 80 years old, you never grew out of your ball. Maybe he's a lost cause and we should just abandon him forever. Love it! Problem solved! <laughs> or... Damn it! <laughs> spinning, watery, curvy, bendy, ball, globe, oscillating spheroid, oblate spheroid, planet sphere. We don't appreciate him because he is stupid. <laughs> but he didn't have it so easy growing up. Not a lot of kids get kicked in the head by three horses. I thought it was just one. Oh, no, it was three. They took turns. <laughs>